Hi, I'm Patrick O'Connell, Chair of the Counseling Department at Grays Lake North High School. We're here to talk with you today about the college application process from beginning to end. Let me introduce my team. Come on in, everybody. Hi, I'm Tim Sheehan. Jamie McKenna. Kevin Ball. Megan Stenberg. Veronica Lujano. Chrissy Applehands. This video that you'll be watching was put together by the counseling staff to help help parents understand the college application process from start to finish, from filling out the applications, scholarship, FAFSA, everything you need to know. We put this together and hope you find it helpful. There's a saying that goes, it takes a village. Well, the college application process certainly takes a village. We have students who have a certain part in this, a large part in this process, doing the research, going into Naviance, visiting schools, filling out the applications, getting letters of recommendation, etc. But also, parents play a huge role in this process. They have the opportunity to help their students visit schools, go to college fairs, and we're going to go through step by step the application process as well as the student financial aid piece in our college application guide for parents. So years leading up to senior year, we went in freshman year and met with all freshmen who are now seniors, if you can believe that, they're getting ready to graduate and go off to school. But freshman year, we met with students during their transition, their lunch transition, and we talked with them about the college process, about maintaining good grades and the importance of a strong GPA and other key elements. Sophomore year, we went into health classes and introduced students to Naviance, where they took certain inventory, skill builders, learning styles inventory. And we had them do some questionnaires about their likes, their dislikes, what they could see themselves doing in the future, and a personal questionnaire for this very year when they may require letters of recommendation from teachers. The career fairs, we've had SAT and other test preparation. We went into junior U.S. history classes and spoke with all the juniors about the same process, refreshing it a little bit getting it refreshed in their minds about what they need to do and how they can accomplish their goals of getting into the school of their choice. College planning night for juniors. We have that for juniors and their parents. We had some experts come in and talk about the financial aid process as well as different tips and tricks about the college application process. So that was those were the years leading up to senior year. So now this year, which is senior year, we have a timeline. So in September, we ask our students as well as our parents to know the deadline dates for the schools to which they are applying. I was always taught early is on time and on time is late. And this is a good adage, especially for colleges, as well as the financial aid process. Students should be working on applications. They're retaking the SAT or they're taking the ACT and they're meeting with uh, college representatives who come to Grays Lake North. We'll talk about that in a little bit. In October, November, December, this is when they are submitting their applications. This is when deadlines happen, November 1st, November 15th, December 1st, etc. Keep your eye on the deadlines, please. You're submitting SAT scores through the College Board. So you need to go to collegeboard.com. 
Com, log into your account, and have the score sent directly to the school to which you are applying. Attend college fairs. Many college fairs coming up. Three I can think of off the top of my head. One at the College of Lake County. One at McCormick Place in Chicago. Another one in Milwaukee. These are a great opportunity to see many schools in one location. Can be a bit overwhelming, but bring a list and um, and have a good time at those fairs. A lot of great information. We're also completing the FAFSA, which is the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. This is the document, the portal opens October 1st. This is the document that is required for students and parents to fill out if you're interested in getting student financial aid and who isn't. So this form needs to be filled out as soon as possible after October 1st. We're also starting to begin the college the college scholarship search, okay? Um, in January and February, after we've done a little bit of research on scholarships, we're starting to apply for those scholarships. Many of them are located in the College and Career Center. We're staying focused on academics. There is no such thing as senioritis. Wipe that out of your mind. Every semester is important. Every semester is important. I needed to restate that. And then we're going to submit our mid-year transcript requests to the schools to which we applied. So you're going to stop down to the College and Career Center, and you're going to fill out those transcripts so your colleges can see how you did first semester of senior year. In April and May, we need to decide on a college by May 1st, the decision day. National Decision Day is May 1st. That's when you send in a deposit and you let your the other schools know that while you appreciated the offer, you're going to go with a different school. Graduation, can't wait for that day. We're going to have you fill out the senior college survey. On the college survey, that's why it's so important for seniors to complete this form, we're going to ask you where you want your final transcripts sent. So you're going to indicate what the college of your choice is, where you're going, and we'll take care of the rest. We'll take care of sending in those transcripts. In this next section, we want to talk about some options for getting to know the campuses and the colleges a bit better. This first option is the campus visit. There really is no replacement for getting onto the campus, seeing the environment, the students, the town, meeting with faculty members. These visits can be scheduled directly through the college's website. Oftentimes, weekend and weekday appointments are available. Grays Lake North students are allowed four days in their senior year to make these visits. There's a form in the College and Career Center that they can pick up, have the university representative sign, and we will excuse those visits. The next option are college visits here at Grays Lake North High School. We're very fortunate to have over 100 plus college representatives meet with our students here in the College and Career Center at Grays Lake North. They travel far and wide from, from all across the country to meet with our students. It's a great way to get information and to network with college reps right here at Grays Lake North. The list of colleges can be viewed on students' Schoology pages or Naviance, and students actually sign up for these visits on Naviance. The third option is the college fairs. These fairs typically consist of hundreds of colleges. Right here in our own backyard on October 10th at the College of Lake County in Grays Lake, Illinois, over 150 colleges will be represented. Students do not need to sign up or make an appointment. They can show up with family, friends, and visit many, many different college representatives. We do suggest, however, that students have a list when they visit these fairs. It can be overwhelming with all of these colleges. 
In fact, the fair at McCormick Place on October 5th will have over 500 colleges. And in Wisconsin Center on October 6th, over 500 colleges. So we do suggest students have a list of six or seven colleges that they definitely would like to meet with, and then they can browse around after that. Now that we've made our visits, talked with admissions representatives, we feel good about the list of colleges that we will be applying to this fall. This list should consist of about three to five colleges comprised of REACH schools, possible schools, probable or likely admits, and financial safety. This range will ensure we have schools that we are stretching for, that we feel really good about because we meet the academic benchmarks, but we also have some schools for financial safety, schools that we feel really good about getting into, but also that we can afford as a family. Now that you have developed your college list, we are going to cover the application process. Here is a process overview. The most important step is researching deadlines, completing applications and submitting fees, sending transcripts and test scores, and filling out a teacher recommendation questionnaire, if that's needed. Step one, how do I apply? College applications are accessed directly on the college's website and submitted electronically. Or students can use the Common Application. The Common Application is where a student will fill out one application that can get sent to multiple colleges and universities. Step two, students will be completing the transcript release form. We need students to complete one form per college they are applying to. SAT scores are not listed on the transcript, so students will need to send their SAT scores directly from the college board. Step three, letters of recommendation. The first step with letters of rec is to first determine if your school requires a letter of recommendation. Students then need to ask their teacher directly in person if they would be willing to write a letter. Step three would be completing the teacher recommendation questionnaire in Naviance. And then finally, putting that request in Naviance under the Colleges tab. We do ask that students give counselors and teachers a minimum of two weeks notice to write a letter of recommendation. This allows us to write the very best letter that we can. And remember to always send a thank you note. Step four is the admission decision. So once you have completed all of the prior steps, completing the application, sending in the transcript and test scores, requesting letters of recommendation, these will all be factors in the admission decision. That might also include the essay or personal statement, Colleges will also look at the rigor of students' courses. What is a student doing outside of the school day in addition to their schoolwork? Some colleges might even request an interview. This is a snapshot of the state university's admission requirements. This lists the ACT score, 
the SAT score and GPA range that they are looking for on their uh, college campus. This is specifically the U of I chart. For the University of Illinois, students will apply directly to their major. And this gives you an idea of how competitive their majors are. Next up, we are going to discuss students' tools for the college application process. Here at Grays Lake North, we use Naviance for all career and college planning. Um, in order to get into Naviance, uh, students will go to the Grays Lake North uh, website, and in the upper right-hand corner, uh, students uh, head to Quick Links, and all seniors do have a login, and their login is their first part of their school email address, and then their password is their student ID number. If there's any students that are having issues logging into Naviance, they can always contact Ms. Applehands in the College and Career Center, and she can reset the passwords or um, help troubleshoot. When students log into Naviance, our College and Career Planning tool, um, they have access to specific college uh, data and information. Here's an example of what Northern Illinois University screen looks like. Um, with a bunch of information regarding application fees, deadlines, acceptance rate, um, and different uh, demographics from students at Grays Lake North. Naviance also has this awesome um, uh, scattergram that we often use with students to compare their test scores and their GPA with other students that attended at Grays Lake North that have applied to the same college. So for example, this screen here is, again, Northern Illinois University, and it's a scattergram of um, different students. So all the checkboxes are different students and where they fall within the admissions criteria. Students and parents do have access to your, your student's school counselor. Um, the best way to uh, make a, an appointment with uh, your student's school counselor is through our Grays Lake North High School website. Again, you go to the Grays Lake North website, you click on the counseling department, and um, all of the counselors uh, show up on this page, and you can click the link um, where it says you can book me to schedule an appointment. Um, the best thing about this is students and parents can make appointments with the student's counselor um, at their own convenience. And it's also great for students so they know that we are available because this links to our personal um, school calendar. Another great way to stay informed uh, with the Grays Lake North School Counseling Department is with our social media accounts. Please follow us at GNHS Counselors on Twitter, at Life After GNHS on Twitter, and we also have a Facebook page, GNH, GNHS College and Career. We are posting things like scholarships, um, college visits, college information, financial aid information, all through these different social media accounts. We do have the College and Career Center here down in the Counseling Department. Um, the College and Career Center is kind of our hub for all things college and career related. Uh, Mrs. Applehands is our secretary in the College and Career Center and she is awesome for um, really helping our students and guide them through this process. She also organizes most of our uh, college rep visits as well as our scholarship information and applications. She is here from 7 in the morning till 3.30 p.m. Um, all forms that were discussed previously are available in the College and Career Center. And this is where students do turn in their transcript release forms and all other forms needed that are needed for the college application process. The College of Lake County um, and Grays Lake North have an awesome partnership. Um, the great thing about College of Lake County is it is super affordable and it is um, close to our community. College of Lake County does come to Grays Lake North and meets with students um, multiple times in the fall as well as the spring. Um, any student can sign up via Naviance to meet with the CLC reps and to ask any questions. The application process for CLC um, takes really about 10 minutes. Um, the website is www.clcillinois.edu. There is no application fee 
to sign up for um, to apply to CLC and like I said before it really takes about 10 minutes to apply. Second semester of senior year students will be able to sign up for the CLC placement tests as well as new student orientation. We have a uh, transition to CLC program here at Grays Lake North where we guide students in the whole application process all the way through registration. So um, it's really important that parents and students are aware that in about um, February of their student senior year, we will be posting a sign up form um, in the College and Career Center as well as through Schoology where students can sign up to take part in our transition to CLC program. So it's an awesome way for students to kind of have an all inclusive um, way to a pathway to get to CLC. Next, we're going to talk briefly about paying for college. Um, paying for college is um, something that a lot of families uh, discuss and oftentimes it's worrisome. So this slide here really talks about how um, typical families do pay for college. So as you can see on the pie chart, most families pay for college through grants and scholarships as well as their parents' income and savings. Um, so some students also qualify for student loans. So those are kind of the big three areas how families do afford college through grants, scholarships, parents' income and savings, and then some students do take out student loans. We have a lot of scholarship opportunities available in our community, but I just want to highlight some here um, that are more on a national uh, basis as well as local. So on the national scholarships typically are where students are going on websites using Google to look at scholarships that are open to all students in the United States. For example, Coca-Cola has a scholarship, Wendy's has a scholarship, uh, sometimes Wells Fargo has scholarships and whatnot. Those are on a national basis. Those are really competitive scholarships um, because these are scholarships you're competing with the, um, every student in the United States. Um, more common for our students um, in regards to scholarships are local scholarships. These are scholarships in our community. So whether they're scholarships in Lake County or for Lake County only students or even in Round Lake or Grays Lake. Um, in order for students to really um, learn about local scholarships in our community, they really need to be watching um, the GNHS counseling website, visiting the College and Career Center, following us on Twitter, and checking Schoology. We post most of our all most all of our local scholarships through those avenues another great resource that our state of illinois has really been promoting is the website col called college greenlight um, if you just go into google and uh, put in college greenlight it is where students can make an account and there, it is a search database so the good thing about this is it's free and there's not a lot of advertisement actually there's no advertisement they're not going to sell da student data so it's ran by the state of Illinois, and this is the number one scholarship search database that we um, promote in um, Grays Lake North. In addition to scholarships, a lot of students do qualify for institutional-based aid. Um, what this means is this is money that the university or the college is automatically giving your student due to either SAT scores or their GPA or their academics. Um, we always advise students to apply to college early and this will increase the amount of financial aid that the colleges are giving their students. Um, you can also search on the college's website to see what type of financial aid they offer as well as meeting with the financial aid advisor at your student's college of choice and talking through any financial needs. College of Lake County does have a separate application, um, which is on this screen, in order to qualify for their institutional-based aid. The next screen just kind of highlights uh, FAFSA. And the FAFSA.gov is the website that students um, must, students and their families must apply to, to qualify for any grants or loan money through the government. This application opens on October 1st every year. Students do have to fill this out every year that they are in college. Again, the key date here is October 1st. Um, this form will open for our seniors October 1st, so we do advise all families to complete the FAFSA in October to maximize the amount of money um, that you're eligible for. Um, 
Another cool thing that um, we have coming up is um, the Grays Lake North High School counselors are putting on a FAFSA fest. This is in, is in October, um, October 19th, and it is a Saturday. And we are having families come in to either complete the FAFSA with our state representatives um, that help our students, um, or we're also having families come in just if they have any financial aid questions uh, regarding their students' FAFSA. So we hope that you're able to attend our FAFSA Fest on October 19th. It is a Saturday, and the time is um, from 8 a.m. to noon, and you can drop in anytime. Another great resource for financial aid help is our uh, FAFSA rep through the state of Illinois. Her name is Sarah Boyle, and her information is on the screen. You can email her or call her anytime if you have any specific FAFSA questions. Her office hours here at Grays Lake North begin September 19th by appointment. She is here every other week, so if you prefer to meet with her in person and talk about financial aid help, you can make an appointment with her um, just by emailing her, and you can come to Grays Lake North and um, work with her individually. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation. We are here to support you and your student. Please feel free to contact us at any time if you have any questions or um, need ad any additional help. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this information helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your counselor. Thank you.